you will literally be calling Jay, my lord. Like they said, like that's like <laughs> the lingo you want to use. It's so romantic and it's so nice to see different oh, people. I love it. It gets me in the mood, I'll tell you that. So a man broke up with his woman for doing the busted challenge after he asked her not to. Is he tripping for leaving her and not letting her do the challenge? Or was she tripping for doing the challenge anyway, despite what her man said? Ladies, whose side are you taking in this challenge controversy? Mm -hmm. I'm taking both of their sides. These people were not made for each other. And I actually think that they should be grateful for moments like this because Guys, long term, you have to be on somewhat the same page with the person that you're in a relationship with. You gotta have, you know, to some extent, similar mindsets when it comes to things like this. Obviously, if he felt so offended, you know, maybe this isn't the kind of woman that he wants to be with. And at the same time, if he felt so offended that she did this, and this is the thing that she's into and she feels that she needs this for self-expression, it makes her feel good, whatever her reasoning may be, she needs to be with somebody that would support that sort of thing. So I just think that there was clearly some incompatibility here and they just need to call it a day and peace out. I think there were probably some other issues besides the busted challenge because you don't leave someone for that. But if it was something that was important to him and he said to her, please don't do it, she should honor that. I mean, are you missing out for not doing one challenge? Is that changing it your life in any way? If it was something that somebody said to you, you know what, it's really important, I just don't want... I don't want you doing that, and he had a good reason. I don't see why she would do it. Evidently, it sounds like she needed some attention, and that's what she wants, because, you know, a lot of people do it Lesson for learned. the attention, but some people just do it for fun. Some women for are just doing so let her have some fun. But the thing is, is that I guess maybe I'm more concerned with him telling her not to do it and then she doesn't have a right as her as a female to do what she wants. She I has, have a little concern right. with that. Yeah, I don't know if it's all that. It's just a challenge. I don't think it's all that. I don't like period pieces. I never have, but let me tell you this. Bridgerton had me hot and bothered, and at one point, one of my kids was coming down, and I had to find the remote control to pause it. But <laughs> let, me just, let me just say this. Okay. It's so good. And not only is the whole cast diverse, and they don't even talk about the fact they're diverse, it just is, but it is hot, it is steamy, there's butt shots, it is so Well, good. you gotta get through the first three episodes, and then you'll get to that, so. Let me ask you ladies a question, since you guys are big fans of it. Because now that the world is exploding over this show, you've built my expectations Yay, like they're it's pretty high. They're That's pretty why I say, watched it. I want to say that I am the first to say that when Fifty Shades of Grey came out and all y'all acted the same way, I fell asleep 30 minutes into that thing because <laughs> the level of no, hot this, and, oh this my is God, different. cut your I pearls in my This is different. It was Fifty Shades of Grey. This is better? I was doing that when I was eight. Fifty Shades of Grey was nothing. Fifty no, Shades you know of Grey is so it's an amateur hour. It's the way it's, it's, it's shot differently. It's a better story. It's different types of family. And it's like, sexy. Uh, we've been saying it's diverse okay. casting, but it's beautifully Ooh, shot. You're going to love the fashions, things like that. that. You love, well, we had her on the show. We, you know, so we did, we it's, like, it. it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. Yeah, it's right. really beautiful. They said we're gonna be calling our, like you will literally be calling Jay, my lord. Like they said like that's like <laughs> the lingo you wanna use. It's so romantic and it's so nice to see different oh, people. I love it. It gets me in the mood, I'll tell you that. Let me tell you, this alter ego pride of mine, her name is Orgullosa, she got issues and she needs therapy. <laughs> okay, What's her I name? I got something to tell Orgu or 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 Orgullosa, or whatever her name is. Or to Quasa. Okay, listen. I'm gonna tell her something right now, okay? The next time she wonders if it's ever worth being afraid of rejection, there's only one thing worse than rejection. Are you ready? Regret, Adrian. Because oh. rejection, you oh, can actually deal so with true. it. You know what happens. Regret, yeah. you live for the rest of your life never knowing what would happen, and that's worse. Yeah. After I did Cheetah Girls, crazy enough, um, I actually was offered a movie. And because at the time I was like dating someone older and cooler than me, I literally thought like, I can't keep doing these Disney movies. This is so corny. And I was em afraid of embarrassment of doing more of these Disney 
corny movies and I was like, oh my gosh, like nobody's gonna wanna date me. I was a lot older than the roles I was playing. And so I passed on the film because of embarrassment and pride, thinking that this was gonna hurt my, my, my look in the street, my street cred. And turns out it was actually the launching pad for Selena Gomez's film. When I turned down the role, they gave it to Selena Really? Gomez. Yeah, it was the movie that like wow. launched her whole career. Wow. I'm mad. Wow. What I has fear cost offended. me? A lot. I would have dragged <laughs> you to the I audition. Know. I'm mad. I no, I didn't even audition. I didn't have to audition. I was offered the role. That's unbelievable. That's wild, right? Well, if the last tweet really? you see from me is protecting somebody I yeah. love, let it be that. No, if somebody does your kid wrong, you have every no, right to go full the, throttle. No, I, that's not right, Jeannie, because get, that that guy got I get mad, what you're saying, but I'm just saying threats. this is what Jeannie would do. He got it would threats. come out of my tweets, that's it would why come you out of my actions. Careful. I might run out on that court. No, nah, you don't I, do I that, that's throttle. fine. But not on Twitter, because people, it's like, it's about legalities, it's it. about people that put money on it, and he was getting threats. He even said that. And and the, the good thing was Pat Mahone responded back to him and said, hey, it's all good, man, to let everybody know. Because there's some weird people out there. When you're putting stuff yeah. on social media, we just said it, you have to be careful. I get the emotion, yeah. I really get it as a mother, yeah. but we're talking about publicly putting it on there. You're, you're putting people She's in not positions talking about that Little that League, might hurt them. I'm not talking about Little League either. I, no, not Little I know. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I would threaten somebody else's kid. I wouldn't threaten somebody else's kid. But as a mother or as a person who, if you ever mess with no, my that's family, understandable. The things that come out, you're just gonna have to cancel me. That's okay, because I get it. So yeah. I, I just no. This is. I'm talking, like talking I'm talking about professional. We're talking about professional is yeah. something different, and his mother needs to take a back seat on that, because that's professional. Yeah. Jeannie, tell I me that you've never iPhone. gotten a super expensive <laughs> that. gift that you didn't like, but you were like, I'm not throwing this away because it's expensive. I.e., someone once got me Chanel number no. five, and while I know that it is a classic scent and a lot of people love it, I don't love the smell of Chanel number no. five. It smells a bit mature for me, but there's no way I'm throwing it out. So it just sits there. It is on my thing. You would swear decor. I'm a Chanel it's lover. Decor. It's decor. It's expensive, and I'm keeping it because it's expensive. Yes. Did you say yes. it smells mature? Did you? Uh, she did. She did. She did. Mature. She did. <laughs> yeah, mature. I get it. I understand. Mature. I have, you like the I smell have, of that? I'm, I have this gift, Adrienne, on that tip. I can't, I, I'm trying to say because I don't know. I, can't I can't let it go. catch the show at any time. But it's from Tiffany's, and it's about this big. And it just, it's nothing I would have ever bought, and it doesn't go with the decor. It's not, it's just. What is it? It's a I boss? I. It's I a candle. Can't. It's it's a frame. It's a it's a fr it's okay. It's a frame. okay. I'm not gonna say it, but <laughs> it's sitting there. Why? And Mama Mai, she's the Googler. She's the one that will see a gift, flip it over, inspect it, Google it to check the price. Because I was like, I don't want this. Yeah. So I threw it out. She said it looked very expensive, and she Googled it and found out it was in the thousands. So there it is sitting there, and she is hanging her hat on it, her necklaces. <laughs> oh, it's, it's holding every bit of her, her jewelry. And it's so, it's guys, it goes with nothing. Adrian, if you walked in the house and you looked at it, you'd be like, why is this here? It goes with nothing. It's it expensive. doesn't even go in our generation. I get it. There we go. <laughs> what what y'all holding on to? My protractor. Garcelle, what you holding on to? We gonna need a protractor one day. Okay, anyway. that's enough. No, we're gonna My end it at the protractor.